Legion, as real here, like always. We got some Harry Potter stuff. <clears throat> wow, my voice. Now, growing up, I was never a Harry Potter fan. I actually, I actually hated it. And I don't think it was because it was Harry Potter. I think it was because it, it was so hyped. It was. I was. I was pretty young when it came out, but I was still. I think roughly in like eighth or ninth grade, maybe. I think. Maybe I actually don't know when the first Harry Potter came out. Two thousand one, right? I might have been thirteen or twelve. I was never somebody that watched like kids shows growing up. That wasn't my thing. When I was like ten and stuff like that, I was watching like Friends, you know. So I always viewed Harry Potter as for like kids and girls, like Twilight and The Hunger Games and all that. Excuse me. And of course, for those ones, I was a lot older. It wasn't until later in my twenties that I kind of watched a movie or two of Harry Potter. And it wasn't until recently when I really like lost internet for some reason. I had all six of them, and I watched them all in about a day and a half. And I was never like there's there's guys now that grew up at the same time that Emma Watson grew up, and they loved her as in the first one. And when they were all in teenage years, they thought she was, they had a crush on her. Now they're adults and they're like she's an attractive woman. And I was never, a, you know, I, I never was a fan of Radcliffe or the Ron, whatever his name is. Or Emma Watson, I was never like, oh, she was my childhood crush growing up, and now she's a woman. I was never that guy. I never really liked any of them in any kind of capacity. Um, <clears throat> and then, and I've never been somebody late to the party before. I'm just, I haven't been. I, I usually keep in touch with a lot of stuff. Like, I never watched the Twilight movies back in the day, but I knew a lot about them because I knew people that watched them, or the late night talk shows made fun of them, or SNL made fun of them. So I, I always heard it, but these movies were a little older. And it wasn't until I watched all these movies in about a day and a half, the Harry Potters, that I'm like, oh, no wonder we loved, you know, Emma Watson when she when, in the first movie because she was like this adorable child that was acting, or she was an actress, she was a child actress that had talent as an adult. It was crazy. The and they all three of them really were. They were all like some of the best child actors I I think I've ever seen, in like any time. So I understand why there was a lot of buzz around them about how popular and how much everybody loved them. And, you know, as I see all of them, now I'm like, okay, I'm an Emma Watson fan now because she was good in those movies. And and she's just, you know, she was on, I think, the Golden Globes recently and whatever. So I, I've always, I get it now. But as a kid, I was not a fan. As an adult, that wanted something that was fantasy-based but wasn't really uh, Lord of the Rings I got into this, and uh, yeah, I, I realize I've been rambling a long time. Let's just get what we're going to. Uh, all I want to say is n now I kind of get it a little bit more. <clears throat> Man, that was a lot of talking for really no reason. Sorry. If you skipped to this point right now because I was rambling, welcome. You didn't miss anything important. We're here now. Hi. Is there no way to show what we are, what we truly are? It is our choice. This is your Hogwarts story. Isn't this like a mobile game? It didn't look like Hogwarts. It looked like somewhere in Vienna. Master spells with natural skills. Take classes with Hogwarts professors. Choose your friends and battle your rivals. You do Potter, Hogwarts Mystery. I like that music. So, it didn't really play your Hogwarts story. It doesn't really tell us what kind of game it is. It's like a mix between like Telltale and something else? I don't quite get it. Oh, shit. Um. Yeah, I, I, so... I get it, I think, a lot more now. I definitely, like, I mean, like, Deathly Hollows Part 2 was, like, the worst one. Um, I want fantasy. I don't want wizards in London. And, and I don't want your, like, teen drama. You know? That's kind of what it was. Uh, except for, like, the ending, which, if you were a kid and you watched The Battle of Voldemort, um, you're like, oh, yeah. As an adult, you're like, that was kind of a lame battle, a fight, whatever. Um, I, I definitely always liked more of the adult style, like more, not, I don't want to say violence and, and like violence, but 
It was very PC. It was very kid friendly, which is what it was made for. I would have loved to see that the last, the end, the battle, something a little bit more darker, you know. But overall, yeah, I was never the biggest fan of these movies. And within, you know, a handful of years ago, I kind of watched a couple. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then recently I watched all of them in a row. Uh, I, actually, I watched them all in a row. And then I lost internet. And I had nothing else to do, so I watched all of them again. Um, like a week or two later. And they're fun to watch. I enjoy them now, especially as... I like them more, I think, as an adult. I was very much in the mindset as a teenager, like, Oh, that's gay. Why do people like this crap? Like... I was like, yeah. The same with like Twilight and stuff like that. I was just like, eh. As an adult, you're like, eh, it's a, it's a cool fantasy world. It's enjoyable. You know, I've never I've never seen any of the Hunger Games. Um, but if I was gonna watch that, and I eventually watched, I, years ago I got stuck watching one of the Twilights. Worst day of my life. And then when I lost the internet, I was like, fuck. I I have I have to watch them now. I have nothing else to do. I'm bored. And I watched all those, and they're bad, but then there's parts that are okay. But they're a good... What's good about these kind of movies is, even if you're not a big fan of them, or they're like a chick flick kind of thing, you can just go, what would I do in these situations? You put yourself... And that's for me, one of the things I think is... I, and I've said that about plenty of um, movies, like Marvel movies too. When the Marvel movie's not that great, you can just kind of daydream about what would you do in that situation if you had superpowers. What would I do if I was a vampire, or, or a wizard, or anything like that? And that's what I think these movies uh, are good. It doesn't lock you down. You don't always kind of have, have to be like, what's going on? If you've seen it before or you're into it, you can just kind of go, okay, you can kind of put yourself in these situations. And that's what I do, even movies that I'm not a big fan of. Like, I'm not, I don't like Twilight. But when I watched them, I was like, what would I do in this situation? And why can't this be not so tween friendly? Why, I, wanted this to be, I wanted this to be more like Underworld, honestly. More, eh. You know, it's too, like, eh, sparkly. Uh, yeah, so e even the Harry Potter movies, even if I like them, and I never watch them again, it's more like, what would I do if I was that wizard? Or if I was in this wizarding world? And I think that's what makes any movie good at some level, is if you can put yourself in the in the world, and if the movie allows you to do that without kind of, like, ripping you out of it. Um, <clears throat> a lot of talking, a long video for about a minute 20 trailer if you stay to the very end thanks for watching thanks for hanging out hit me with a high five in the comments below if you stay to the very end i do appreciate it though it does help me out <clears throat> in some way or another voices going out so much talking much well such strain i'll see you on whatever video i'm doing next once again my name is azrael later guys